Hi, I'm Mary Meyer, and I'm one of the artists taking part in the color residency at Tempe Center for the Arts. And this is my studio, and this is one of my studio companions, Samson. I have two beagles, and Dempsey is behind the camera right now. I work as a mixed media sculptor, and I'm interested in the connectedness of the natural world, and specifically how our human form is mirrored throughout so many things in nature. And I've been researching and exploring this idea most recently through abstracted clay studies of seeds. My work with seeds began with the series Biophilia, a term which describes a human need to connect with the natural world. The installation is comprised of large wall panels that carry hundreds of seed and leaf forms suspended by sewing needles. I use materials like wood, metal, clay, and enjoy working intuitively through processes like carving and hand building. In my work, I use seeds and leaves as symbols of stillness, connection, and recognition. They hold a quiet energy in their symmetry, an element that is threaded throughout our own bodies and in nature. I've been a full-time studio artist now for about 10 years and have two main workspaces. One is where I do quiet processes like drawing, painting, and working with paper. My other space is where I do a lot of woodworking, metal finishing, and messier clay work. Whatever the material, paper, wood, metal, or clay, my practice is very much driven by repetitive processes. I studied sculpture at Arizona State University where I fell in love with metal casting. I continued working in metal as a graduate student at University of Arizona where I also began focusing on clay. My thesis work was a combination of both materials and all about being absorbed in a physical, meditative process. And this is still what drives me to create. In my graduate studies and more recently in the Luster series, reflection plays a significant role in both a physical and meditative way. I call it the reflective component, and it describes the use of metal objects such as cast aluminum, sewing needles, pins, as well as metallic pigments like graphite. These materials are always present, reflecting the here and now. The forms in this series were originally carved in clay. I see them, and all the forms that I make, as living things that represent the physicality that is slowly diminishing from daily life. I started working with black clay when making Forms of Life, a series based on fossil studies and vintage illustrations of early life forms. Here I was experimenting with rubbing graphite on the clay and adding gold pigment to the carved textures and patterns. This led to my current work with seeds and painting earth pigments within the inscribed designs. My use of color is subtle and, much like the sewing needle, reveals itself more as one stands closer to the work. What intrigues me about color is how it applies to light, life, and growth. I'm interested in the color of the objects but more so in the color that is reflected and absorbed by and within the objects. The color of the surroundings, the viewer, the light. To me, color is a living thing. It is in flux, changing with movement, energy, and time. My next series involving seeds is at the very beginning stages. My focus remains close to home, the Sonoran Desert, and the diversity and resiliency of the flora that exists within our Arizona landscape. 
I'm captivated by the spectrum of blooming trees, shrubs, and cacti that survive in our climate, and the inherent physical similarities that I see between these specimens and our human form. I begin with initial sketches on stencils made of bristol board. This particular grouping will be seeds inspired by the fiddle neck, a desert wildflower which has yellow and orange blooms. With this new work, I'm interested in exploring color and form through the journey of seed to bloom, and how this may serve as a metaphor for resiliency. Although the designs of these seeds are somewhat grounded in science through diagrams and illustrations, their features evolve and change through each process of drawing, shaping, carving, and sanding. I love the freedom of working with multiples, letting the forms develop intuitively, and seeing the evolution of form unfold over time. Right now, I'm looking at over 33 different species of blooming trees, cacti, and shrubs, which will likely result in hundreds of seed formations. Once the seeds are fully detailed and dry, they are ready for firing. And after that, they are ready for pigment. The final colors and arrangement will change and grow organically, which is my favorite part of any process. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I look forward to sharing some of my latest work at the Tempe Center for the Arts Gallery. And in the meantime, if you'd like to check out some more of my work, I invite you to visit my website at marymeyerstudio.com.